is it muktza? So his sack was it's not muktza because it's only a klisha malach to leiser, and you can use it for a, a dover hat there and protecting yourself. Also, more often than not, you threaten with it. You don't actually shoot it. But then he said, but it's usher for a woman to wear a holster because that's begged issue. Right. You make things up as you go along. No, I didn't make this up. It was uh, Fagan, Rabbi Fagenbaum, R.E.A. Fagenbaum. Right. I will have to ask my son if he's ever worn his... But it, what yeah, do the women in Israel do? They don't wear holsters. Yes, they don't. They carry it in the their amulet. purse instead. <laughs> yeah, we could make a shit up between the shlitas and the amos. Rab Motchai, the yeah. women in Israel do not wear holsters. In the Torah, times, I know what's... and in the time of the Mishnah, with, with the possible exception of Devira, women did not sold. And it's a beggar, weaponry is a beggar dish. Men were allowed to carry their spears on Shabbos, it was decorative, but the women aren't supposed to, it's beggar dish, just like women aren't supposed to wear pants. I, I know all of that, Stussen. women should not wear pants, it reveals the body more than a loose dress does. Not some of the pens. I see, I see some of the pens that men wear that so bagged. Oh, I also know I have a grandson that wears pants that are so tight. I don't yeah. know how he can bend his knees. I've seen that also. <laughs> Looks like they were painted on. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Gentlemen, let me start with the learning sponsors and then we'll go into our text. Year of Learning, Friends of Nina Monestra, Nechama Asna, Badiyat Zagaron. Many friends of Stephen Vigdor, Lezech Nishmat, Simcha Melech Ben Meir Leib Halevi, friends of Marcy Kurtz in memory of her great niece, Leah Bracha, Isaac and Evelyn Blachor in memory of his sister, Chaya Rachel Bas Isser. A month of learning by Gary and Marsha Schrager in memory of his father, Dovi Ben Yosef, and his mother, Freda Bas Hendel. Marsha Federbush in memory of her husband, Oriel Pinchas Ben Arav Shimon. Andrea and David Dolmi, in memory of her father, Tzvi Herschel Hillel ben Avraham. Dov Bodlander, in memory of his father, Tzvi ben Yaakov Yitzchak. His mother, Bela Devasha Basarav Dov Beresh. His father-in-law, Yehuda Tzvi ben David Nachum. And his mother-in-law, Alta Chaya Bas Avraham Yosef. A week of learning by Michael and Judith Koretsky, in memory of his father, Geshem ben Chaim Tzvi. By Judy Iger, in memory of her son, Yerachmiel ben Aharon. We do not have uh, any days of learning today, but we do continue to keep in mind Peret Semach ben Yaakov Yitzchak and the Bachur Moshe Rubin ben Sima Tebala and all others that uh, need to force needs to force learning. May Shema have an aliyah, crank a rafia, velti yeshiv, Shema tliya, and the whole B'nai Israel a good good bench. My wife wanted to go shopping yesterday. And we were learning. Your what? My wife yeah. wanted to leave the house and go shopping yesterday when we were learning. I you said, no, no, no. This Gemara, you have to stay here for. Today's Gemara. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, They're a not so religious family. They lost it. The man lost one of his parents. <clears throat> so the Rav came over and said, Tomorrow we're going to bury your father. This is what happens at the funeral. And then after that, you have to see Shiva for a week. And among the restrictions, he says, and for a week, you're not allowed to have relations with your wife. So the wife says, Baruch Hashem. And the man says, why is this week different than <laughs> the other week? <laughs> okay. All right. We, again, we're continuing with quite a bit of, of Vagadita in, in the Gemara for today as well. So we left off. It was... Uh, 
and we came back to life. It's four <laughs> lines above where the Gemara on Amud Bay is on 62B, whatever it is. Okay, it widens. Or you could look, find the place basically on uh, and Rashi. It's about two or three lines up from where Rashi ends on the um. Okay, basically that's where we. Uh, all right, we, exactly what Bob was saying. He prayed for her. She came back to life. So now we're up to Rabbi Chama Bar Bisa, or Besa. Okay, so all twelve year guy. Um, that's Everyone true, that's know. true. That so must have a meaning. Um, as we continue with the Gemara, maybe we'll see if there's some implications. I'm surprised that Rashi didn't comment says on that. Either. But it's just into every single person. Okay. okay, so we everybody has the place? Yeah, the other one is. What on it again? Okay, we're on uh, 62, Summit Day, Summit Day. right? 62B, I would guess three right. in our scroll. 62B3. Right? Okay. 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 All right, so Rabbi Chama Bar Besa. Marty, okay there? Yeah. Azil Yativ Tre Sare Shane, Bebe Midrasha. He went and sat. Uh, for 12 years in the base medrash. Okay, now just a quick point uh, that we've saw in the Gemara before. Remember, we saw that previously it implied that at least one of the sages went to Machoza or someplace else. Bay Midrasha may simply imply, okay, we're not sure whether that's. No, he had to go away because he didn't recognize his. Well, 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 we'll get here. Yeah. Okay, but, but the language does not necessarily tell us as the Gemara told us, spelled out explicitly before. Okay, so that's the case. So what happens? Ki ata, all right? Okay, so what happens when he comes? Amari said, lo avid kadi avid ben achinai. I'm not going to do the way ben achinai did. Okay. Well, that was okay. That was one one possible shot. Okay, all right. That's right. Okay, there the shot was that he did not go away to the yeshiva in Machos or Pompadita. That there was a local base medrash. Because he didn't recognize his kid. Well, well, well. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to get to that. Hold on. Okay. What happens? Ayal yativ b'midrasha. Okay, so the implication here at this point, okay, is that he had gone away and now came back and was learning in the in local, local basement, basement local base right. midrash. Because he wanted okay? to send a message. So, right, right. So, but, but that's why I said take a step at a time. Okay, ayal yativ midrash. So he came back and was learning in the local base midrash. Okay. Shalach Labete, and he sent a message home to his family that he was back in town, so to speak, learning in the local base medrash. Okay. okay, that's why I wanted to sensitize us to the language there. At the Rabbi Oshaya Barai, in walks in Rabbi Oshaya, his son, Yativ Kame, and he sits down in front of him. What does that mean? He was married several years and then he went away? He was married. Okay, then he went to go learn in uh, one of the big yeshivas, went away to learn. Now he comes back and he's learning. But he's he in is, his local base he medrash. He's been home for several years because his he son has, was That's there. correct. Okay. And he, because his friend, Ms. Thomas, wife died when he startled her. Is this right? guy didn't want well, to do Well, he that. didn't want so to do like he did. If someone was Rabbi Yeshiva, they wouldn't have been Rabbi at 12 years or 12, 13 well, years. Well, let's, let's, let's finish the piece and then we'll explore it a little bit more, okay? Shalach Lebete, Ata Rav Oshaya Barai. Okay, so he sent a message back to his home, okay, that he had come back from wherever he was learning, 
Okay, and he was learning now in the local base midrash. Okay, clearly because he did not want a similar situation as to what happened previously with one of his colleagues. Okay, at the Rabbi Oshaya Bereil, and comes in his son, Rabbi Oshaya, Yativ Kame, and he's sitting down in front of him. Have come mash and he was asking him questions and discussing halacha with him, the appropriate lesson. Chaza, the kamit chadadei shema'ate. And he saw how sharp his halacha knowledge and learning was. Okay. Good bless you. Okay. Chalash da'ate. And he got uh, emotionally uh, impacted in this way. And Amarni says, if I had been here, okay, perhaps I would have had a progeny like this one. So again, that reinforces the message that he had gone away, but then come back and uh, was locally and thinking, well, had I stayed here perhaps the entire time, maybe I would have had a, something like that. Okay. What happens? Okay, then Al Habete, he went to his home. Al Bere, the son also got up and went to the same residence. Kam Kame, okay, he stood up before him. Okay. So, in other words, Rav, so we're seeing here that in this case, okay, all right, that, uh, that our Rabbi Chama Bars Besa stood up before this younger man. Okay, because okay. He thought he's a big right, uh -huh. right, we'll get to it, right? Okay, so what happens? Right, have a savar, lemish ale shema'atata kabai, because he was under the impression that the young man, okay, that wanted to discuss or ask a shaila and discuss it with him even further. Amra le and his wife, the wife of Rabbi Chama Bar Bese says, turns, says to her husband, Mi Ika Abba, the Kaim Mikame Bara, is there a father that stands before his son? Okay, implying, again, he didn't recognize him. Okay, but uh, this was the case. All right. And I can attest to that, that there are fathers that can stand before their sons. Okay. Kari Alei Rami Barham, and Rami Barham, referring to this situation, tells us, cites a pasuk, Achut Hamishulash Lo Bimhera Yenatek. Okay, the threefold uh, twine, okay, which does not break. In other words, implying that this was the third generation of scholars in that family. Okay. Ze Rabbi Oshaya, Benosho Rabbi Chama Barbisa. This is referring to Rabbi Oshaya, who was the son of Rabbi Chama Barbisa. Now, is this Rami? Well, so his son, or is this just coincidence that his name is Barham? Okay, I'm not sure I understand your question. The person who says over that the three stranded thread, his name. Is Rami Bar Chama. Right. The Maisa was about Chama and his son Ushaya. So is this Rami a relative uh, or brother uh, or okay. is it just coincidental? Okay. All right. Now I understand your question. Chama. Okay. I so, saw nothing on that. Okay. My. I'm sure, uh, no, it did that. not. It did not comment. They didn't have a picture. They didn't or have anything. a comment or anything on that. Okay. Okay. However, however, I'm going to make a quick suggestion and then we'll go on. Okay. Right. So he was Rami Bar Chama. He, the other was, uh, right, Rabbi Oshaya, the son of Rabbi Chama Bar Chama. So he could have been another son. Okay, or it could have been another relative. Okay. okay. Or it could have had the same name, father. I understand. Mm -hmm. That's why I was asking. Okay. Now, a new piece of Gadita. Okay. Rabbi Akiva Raye de Ben Kalba Sabua. 
Rabbi Akiva was a shepherd for the, uh, the well-to-do gentleman, Kalba Savua, Hava. Chazite Barte, the Hava Tzaniya Umale, the daughter of Kalba Savua, saw that Rabbi Akiva was very uh, humble and refined. Amrale, and she said to him, Im Kadashna Lach Azlat Lebe Rav, if I betroth myself to you, will you go and study at the Academy of Rav? No, just in the yeshiva. Okay. Can't be Rav, because Akiva well, is the, the earliest of the... Yeah, no, I'm saying the, the concept is there. Okay? In other words, yes, it's go to the yeshiva, but the concept is that. Okay? In other words, right? Amarla. And he said to her, and yes, Iktasha, lay betsina, Okay, Vishadarte. She betrothed herself to him and in secret and then sent him there. Shama Avua, her father heard about it. Afkamibete, he removed her from his home. Adra Hana'a Minichse. And he took a vow that she cannot benefit from any of his possessions. Okay. Azil. Okay. He went. Yativ Tre Sare Shane, he went went and studied for 12 years in the academy. We'll use that phrase, right? In the yeshiva. Right? Kiata, when he came back, Aiti Bahade, Tre Sare Alfe Tamide. Along with him came 12,000 students. Shamae, okay, Lahahi Saba, okay? And there was a certain man, an elderly man, who said to uh, this woman, okay, who was the wife of Rabbi Akiva, the Kamala, and he said to her as follows as we go to the new staff today, right? Okay, you're going to continue to uh, behave and yeah, live living your, widow, living yeah. your life as a living widow. Okay, Amralai, she said to him, Eva D D C eight. If he had listened to me, Yativ Tre Sare Shane Acharine, he should go and sit and learn another twelve years. Okay, Amar Birshut Ka'avidna. Okay, he said, with her permission, I will do so. Hadar Azil Yativ Tre Sare Shane Acharine Bebera. He went and sat and learned another 12 years. Again, this theme of 12 years is coming back. Okay, whether it was actually 12 or whether that's symbolic, it's a separate issue. Again, now he comes back. Ki ata aite bahade esrin va'arba'a alfeit talmide. When he came back again, this time he had 24,000 students. And that's where we get Okay, all right. Shama de betayim. His wife heard of his coming. Havit kanafka laape. She went out to greet him. Amrula, okay, and they said to her, the neighbors, the late other people there said to her, Shiva Vata, one of her neighbors said to her, She'ili mane lavush v'ichsaye. Go and borrow some nicer clothes, okay, and put them on. Okay, in other words, you can't go out the way you are like that like to man. greet this uh, important individual coming to town. Okay, Amralaho. Okay, and they, she said to uh, them, to the okay, Yodea Tzadik Nefesh Behemto. Okay, that uh, the righteous person will recognize what belongs the to him. The of his hand, but okay. this is a piece of play because her name was Rachel and a, a Rachel is a sheep. So that's what she Could be. That's the, the okay. Gemara is being clever. Okay. Kimacha okay. Legabe, when she came towards him, Nafla al Apa Ka Menashka Le Lekare. She fell down on in the ground before him, before him, and she kissed his feet. Havu ka midhefe la shame. And his uh, servant wanted the stewards or whatever wanted to push her away. Amar Laho, he said to them, Shavkua, leave her. Shali v'shelachem shalahu. 
what's mine and what is yours is really dependent upon her. Okay, not what happened. Shama avuha, the atagavra rabba lamata. Her father heard that an important man, okay, great sage, had come to town. Amar izil legabe, efsha de mecha de mefa nidrai. I will go to him, and perhaps he can uh, nullify or be mavatel my uh, vow, my so nedar. So she would be less than an impoverished. Okay. So what happens? Atelagabe, he came to him. Amarle, and he said to him, Adata de gavaraba minidart. Okay, on the knowledge of a great person. In other words, were you aware that that? Uh, that there was something involved with a great person, would that you have? If your chassan, okay. Akiva, well, would have that been was a great, the implication. Would, have, would you have made that? But matter? it doesn't spell out the name there. No, but he said, if you had known, had you been know, aware, would, be a big shot, would you have okay. made? This had matter? you been aware, say, right? Had right. you been aware that it was possible that he would have become a great person, would you have made the vow? Okay, Amarle, he said to them. He answers, okay, Afilu Perik Echad, Vafilu Halacha Achad. Even if he had only known one Perik, one chapter, maybe of Mikra, okay, or even if he had own, own, only learned one, one Halacha, right? Okay, Amarle, he said to him, Ana, I am he, okay? In other words, that's why you got to bring it up to the, right? Nafal al ape vinashke al kari. So Abba Saba, right? He fell on his and on the feet of Rabbi Akiva and kissed his feet. Vayahiv le palga mamone, and he gave him half of his money. Okay. Now the Gemara continues and tells us the following Barte de Rabbi Akiva, Avdale le ben Azai hachi. The daughter of Rabbi Akiva did likewise to Ben Azai as follows. Vahainu, and this is why we say, or people say, the Amrei Inche, that people say, Rechela, Bata Rechela Azla. Okay, a you follows after a you, Ke Ovde Aima, Kach Ovde Barta. As was done by the mother, so was done by the Daughter. Okay. Only person like mother, like daughter. Right. That's, but yeah. And again, the pun on in name, Rachel and Rafaela. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rav Yosef Bere, we can continue now. Rav Yosef Bere de Rava, Shadre Avuhe, the Bay Rav, the Kami de Rav Yosef. So this is Rav Yosef, the son of Rava, sent, okay, uh, he was sent by his father. To go learn in the academy, okay, under the guidance of Rav Yosef. Okay, what happens? Paskule Shit Shane. Okay, he they had arranged for him to study there for six years. Kihavatlat Shane. And when there were three years done, the midterm, so to speak, Mate Male Yoma de Kapuri. Okay, he got up and he came back on the eve of Yom Kippur. Okay. Amar izil v'ichzarinhu l'inshe beiti. I'm going to go and return to visit the visit my family. Right, visit family. And it's basically to see my wife. Okay. Shama avuha. Okay. His father heard about it. Shakil mana v'nafak la'ape. Um, how does art scroll translate the he word? He took something and then it mana, an some sort of weapon. Okay, weapon. okay. that's how they write. Art scroll says right. a utensil. Okay, yeah, a utensil. But, it, 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 but it, right, no, I, that's fine. I just because Corin only translated it as weapon. Cuisine. That's okay, cuisine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there yeah. too. Okay, all right. So that was the implication. So basically, the they all accepted Rash, that. They, he, for once in his life, he picked up Rashi. Who? No, not Our once. Current, not once. It's his Kli Zion Ki Ilu Okay. Obama. 
right? Okay, that's the implication. And he went out to greet him, to meet him. Amale, he said to him, Zonat Khan is carrot. Okay, so he's saying to him, uh, okay, you're basically, uh, you're coming back for a, a woman in a sense. Ika da Amre. And others they, said, they okay, um, what? They, that, that's yes. very negative. So others Yes, yes, negative. yes, a lot. That's what I did too. Okay. All right. Amar Lai, others said, Yonat Khan is Karen. Okay, you're coming back for your Dal. Okay, which is a lot much nice. Okay, so what happens? Itrud, Lo Mar Ifsik, Lo Mar Ifsik. Okay, so what happened there? As a result, neither one of them, the son nor the father, okay, they were in a uh, verbal. Uh, uh, encounter, let's put it that way. And as a result, neither one of them wound up eating the meal before uh, before Yom Kippur. Okay. 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 Right. Let's go on. Our new Mishnah. Okay. This new Mishnah is going to sort of introduce us to a bit of a new topic. Okay. And uh, try to clarify what the situation is. Amoredet al baala pochtin la miktubata. Okay, we're saying that a woman who rebels against her husband, we reduce her ksuba. Okay, how much? Initially, the Tanakhama says shiva dinarim b'shabbat, seven dinars a week. A week, right? Rabbi Yehuda Omer shiva tarpa akim. Okay, he says the amount is to be reduced seven tarpaikin, which one explanation was a, that coin is a half dinar, okay, amount. Ad mataihu pochet, up to what point does he reduce the ksuba? Ad keneged ksubata, okay? And toward, he basically removes it until he removes the total amount for the ksuba. That was one view. Rabbi Yossi Omer, Le'olam hu pochet, v'holech ad she'im tipola yurusha mimakom acher, go vahimena. No, he says, not only do you remove all of the amount that was written for the ksuba, but you continue to remove and deduct, okay, and all of that, so that eventually if she does receive any other outside funds, you can deduct it from it. And it's right. interesting, it doesn't say anything about Nixate's own Barzel, which leads to a dispute later in the Gemara. Right. Right. al ishto. And likewise, a husband who rebels against his wife, Mosifin al Ketubata. He needs to add money to the Ksuba. Okay. How much? Shlosha dinarim b'shabbat. Three dinars per week. The husband gets away with less. Okay. Than so what happens? Nope. Rabbi Yehuda Omer Shloshat Tarpa Aki. And Rabbi Yehuda in this case again says a different amount, three half dinars. Gemara asks as follows. Moredat me mine. When we say she rebels, it's in regard to what? Rav Huna Amar, he says, Mitashmi Shamita from conjugal relations. Rabbi Yossi be Rabbi Hanina Amar me Melacha. And he argues instead, it is from the wifely tasks that she's know, expected. Five floyim that he can't afford her to get a job. And she says, I'm not going out and work. Possibly. Possibly. Okay. But remember that weaving was part of the task that she was expected yeah, to do. Was and that was, that was that to sell. That was, to, that was, that was for him. To she was knitting sweaters to sell, to give him. Uh, he to can contribute to the family the income? What? You're saying it's to contribute to the Correct. household income. Correct. That's and you got said. that from Rashi. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's not. Okay. We learn elsewhere in a Mishnah. al ishto. And it says, likewise, if he rebels against his wife. That's 
understandable if we're saying it's in regard to relations lechaye, then it's well. Okay, but if you're saying it's in regard to uh, earnings, work, okay, isn't she uh, expected, okay, uh, subjugated in a sense to him? And yes, but Omer, no, it's a situation where she says, basically, I'm not going to provide, help provide the sustenance. I'm not going to help bring in money to the household. And Rav says as follows. The woman, the one who says that I'm not going to prov help provide the, the sustenance. Man. Right. Oh, the, man, one, the, man who says. right the one who says, right. I am not going to provide sustenance and I'm not going to bring in the, the husband, with the welfare. Yotzi v'yitain ktuba. Okay, he has, must he divorce has give, yeah. and give her his her gift. V'lav la'amluche be. Okay, and not to consult her by. Oh, saying that he doesn't have to consult her. Okay. Meiti be. We'll challenge this. Echat li arusa unisua. The same seems to imply whether it's betrothal or marriage. V'afilu nida. <laughs> even if she's in a situation of nida or a situation of illness, <laughs> and even in that situation, waiting for the yibam. Okay, that's uh, acceptable when regards we're saying bringing in uh, income, money, working for the house. <laughs> but according to the one, whose view was that it was rebelling regarding relations. Nida bat is a woman who's in Nida. Is she, uh, so to speak, I'm gonna say available for the moment for uh, relations. Amarlach, okay, his answer could be to you. no <laughs> There is no comparison between one who has bread in his basket to one who doesn't, an implication being, for the moment the nida is, for the, a short period of time, she's not that? available, okay? But at another point in time, he has a wife and she would be uh, available, okay? And those were saying, that's acceptable when we say it's regarding to relations. That's why it also taught the situation if she was ill. But according to the one, as we go over to the new Amr, who says that it's in regards to uh, uh, work for the household, is a woman who is ill, really capable of uh, going out and working and bringing money in to the household. The Havya Moredit, but rather was saying in regards to the situation of relations, everyone okay, does not disagree that clearly it would imply Moredit could apply to that situation. Okay, Kipligi, where do they argue? Mimalacha, in regards to the situation of bringing earnings into the, from work into the household. Mar Savar Mimalacha, Lo Havya Moredit. One master holds that in regards to that uh, working status, let's put it that way, okay, we would not consider a situation of moredit. Um, um, okay, umar savar, mimalacha nami havya moredit. And the other holds, okay, that in regards to earnings to the household, that is possible to consider her as in that status of a moredit. Okay, come back to our Gemara now that says, let's re-examine our initial text. Gufa, it says. Hamoredet al ba'ala pochatim la miktubata shiva dinarim b'shabbat. Our Mishnah said that one who rebels against her husband, we deduce, reduce from her, from her ktuba, 
seven dinars per week. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Shiva Tarpaikin. And Rabbi Yehuda says, no, seven half dinars. Rabotenu, Chazru, Venimnu, Shehiyu Machrizin Aleh, Arba Shabbatot, Zo Achar Zo. And the rabbis, okay, came and they made a uh, determination. I'm going to use that word for the time being. All right. They reboded. Okay. That they should make an announcement. Okay. Four Shabbos is in a row, one after the other. Okay. And then it continues. Vishokhin la Beitin. And the Beitin sends her a message. Have yodat. Shafilu Ketubatech Mea Mana. Okay, if Sadat, are you aware of the fact that even if your Ketuba was uh, only a hundred? Let's say, uh, um, okay, I was going to say a, a minimum of a hundred, but only a hundred is fine. Okay, that you're going to be missing out. Echa, lose money. Okay, yeah. Li, right? Even in regards to a situation where one was a betrothed, one married, one was in Nida, one was a sick, okay, or waiting, waiting for you. Amar Le, Rabbi Chia Bar Yosef, the Shmuel. And Rabbi Chia Bar Yosef says to Shmuel the following Nida, Batashmishi. Okay, in that situation, can we really consider the nida a moredet regarding conjugal relations? After all, in that status, she's not available, okay? At the moment, at least, of that, right? Amar lehi sitim, e no dome mi sheyesh lo pat v'salo, la mi she'en lo pat v'salo. We cannot compare one who has bread in his basket versus one who does not have bread in the basket. In other words, if you have, <coughs> that's the point. Again, the availability at some point, right? Amar Rami Bar And here we see his, uh, again, he brings, his name is mentioned here. Ein machrizin aleh, ele babate knesiot, u babate midrashot. Okay, we do not make this hachraza, this announcement about her, except in the synagogues and in the Beit Midrash, in the learning houses, okay? Amar Rava, and Rava then says, Daika Nami, okay? Dikatani Arba Shabbatod Zo Achar Zo. And we can say, deduce that, okay? Also from the fact that it was taught that we said it was done four Sabbaths, one after another. In other words, that would be the play, appropriate place where people would be gathering on Shabbos for davening, for learning, etc. Synagogues and the Pei Midrash. Shmamina, we learn from this. Amar Rami Bar Chama. That's period, Shmamina. Right, indeed, that's what we learn. Now we go on. Amar Rami Bar Chama. Pa'amayim sholchim lami beitin. He said twice they send her uh, letters, messages from the court. Okay. Echat kodem hachraza, once before they begin the announcements. Ve'achat la'achar hachraza, and once after the they've done the announcements. Darash Rab Nachman bar Rab Chista, he said the following, halacha ke rabotenu, the law is like our sages. Okay, this business, right? right. Now, Amar Rava says, Rava, hi, Burcha. That's uh, one translation I found was incorrect. One was senseless. A mistake. Yeah, that's an, there's a mistake. There's an error there. Amar le Rav Nachman bar Yitzchak. He says, my Burcha te, what's his uh, mistake? What's the issue there? Ana Amrita Nahale. Okay, so here, what is he saying? I am saying you proceed with it. Umishme de Gavaraba Amrita Nahale. 
And in the name of a great man, one says you proceed with it. Umano, and who was it? Rabbi Yossi Barcha, Rabbi Hanina. <coughs> Rabbi Yossi, the son of Rabbi Hanina. Okay. Ve'ihu. Okay. And Rabba now, Keman Savar, according to whom oh, does he hold? Kiha, the Itma Rabba Amar Rav Shesha. Like that, where Rabba said in the name of Rav Shesha, Halacha Nimlachimba. The law is that we do consult her. This is the, not that we make them divorce immediately, but we counsel them. We try to make shalom. Okay. Um, you got that from Rashi? It's not, it's not in Rashi, but it's... Uh, okay. That, that's how our art scroll translates. Oh, okay. All right. I um, saw it a little differently. Okay. I saw it as referring back to the discussion earlier, Again, whether, yeah, you, whether, whether we say that we consult her or don't the consult her. Thing tries to talk him into making shalom right. with we'll see. rather than okay. immediate now, divorce. All right, so the, implica will. the implication is we take it, the situation under advisement, and we do try to give them right. what right. we'll call will today say. marital counseling, okay? All right, now, why is this message important? as we're going to see shortly in the Gemara, okay? Rav Huna Bar Yehuda, Amar Rav Sheshet. He says in the Rayim of Rav Sheshet, Halacha ein nimlachin ba. But the law, he argues, okay, is we don't consult her. Okay, we don't uh, try to make uh, shalom. Hechi damya morenet. How is it possible then that then she would be considered or comparable to being a rebellious? Right, Amar Amema. All right, so Amema says, Da Amra Baina Le. Okay, Umitsare Le. She basically says, uh, I need him, I like I him, I want to stay him, him, but I want to, Umitsara Le, but I want to make him suffer. Okay, <laughs> okay, Aval Amra, but if she says, Maisa Lai. But if she says uh, he's uh, disgusting, I, I don't want anything more to do with him. Okay, lo kaifin in la, we do not force him. Okay, as we don't force them to try to make amends and come back or together. Or force her to sleep with him. Okay, mar zutra amar, he says kaifin in la. Okay, we do force them to come back together. Okay, hava uvda, and there once was a real incident. Va'akpara Marzutra, and Marzutra actually forced them to come back together. V'nafak mine, Rabbi Hanina Misura, and the product of their uh, uh, returning together and their union, both uh, emotionally and physically, we'll put it that way. Okay. Only physically, because he forced her to go back there. Okay. Was Rabbi Hanina from Sura. Velohi. But don't rely on that. That's okay? not, That's not enough proof, strong enough proof. Hatam siyata deshmaya hava. There, that was only really a miracle. Okay. And now we get another quick story. Okay. Kalate, the Rav Zavid, the daughter-in-law of Rav Zavid, Imrada, she was rebellious. What happened? Hava tafisa chad shira. And she took uh, a silk cloak. Okay. This is some bars All right. Yativ Amema Umar Zutra Varav Ashi. And the three of them were sitting together. Vyativ Rav Gamda Gabai. And Rav Gamda also was sitting along with them. Yadve Vikaamle. They sat and they rendered the following recommendation. Okay, Marda, if Sida Balote, Kaimin, okay, that uh, a rebellious woman, okay, should lose whatever worn out clothing. She loses even her own bars. Okay, that, what, that she possesses. Amar Laho Rav Gamda. And Rav Gamda then uh, commented, I'm going to say, on their statement. Mishum de Rav Zavid, 
Gavra Rabba Machnifa Tuhlai, because Rav Zavid is such an important person, are you uh, flattering him by rendering that kind of a decision? Okay. Vahama Rav Kahana. And didn't Rav Kahana say, Mi baye bai Rabba, below Pashit, that Rabba actually raised the question, okay, and it did not come to a complete answer. Ika da Amri, and there were those who say, Yad ve kaveka Amri, they sat and they discussed and made the following statement, Marda lo hifsida balote kaimi, that a rebellious woman does not lose out her worn out clothing. In that case, Amarlaho Rav Gamda. Okay, we'll just go over a tiny bit. Mishum Rav Zavid, in the name of Rav Zavid, Gavra Rabba, who Afchitu Le Ladina Eluye. Okay, is it because again, Rav Zavid is such a great man that you turn the law against him? And that's where we'll pick up tomorrow. Well, you should really finish that. Okay, Ha'amar Rav Kahana, and Rav Kahana says, Mi baye bai la rava velo pashit. Okay, and again, okay, Rav Kahana was the one who raised the question, but he did not have an answer. That's why I pointed to that earlier. It says she loses her nixay malug, but the Mishnah says nothing about son barza. So here, they're fighting, the dispute is, whether that includes her own barzel that she that you diminish mm -hmm. because she came with those clothes by the marriage she wants to not go you know take them with her 